This election is happening after 2019. This is the first parliamentary election after 2019. Its significance comes from the fact that the mm -hmm. same parliament took decisions on August 2019, which went against the principles of the democracy and the principles of the constitution. And with those decisions, the dignity of the uh, state of Jammu and Kashmir was snatched. The status of the state was degraded and it was degraded to union territory and it was divided. We, the people of Jammu and Kashmir, were disenfranchised, turned into second class citizen. And all this happened without our wish and will. We did not vote for that. We did not sub subscribe for that. We did not give our consent for that. So whatever happened, happened undemocratically and uh, unconstitutionally. This is the first opportunity for the people of Jammu and Kashmir to express themselves democratically against the decisions taken on August 2005 and put their dissent uh, with a strong mandate, not only in the parliament, but, parliament, but to the people of, of the nation. You as have well. been saying the development is not an issue. Why Why the development is not? At the issue? moment, this election, it does not, uh, we do not contest this election on the pitch of develop, development. Give us our status back, give us our autonomy back. We, we can show that how the state prospers and we can do the de development. We have done development before this. We were on, on all the indexes. Jammu and Kashmir was much better than UP, Bihar. On many indexes, it was much better than uh, Gujarat. Gujarat. We we know how to develop, uh, but for for to write our own destiny, to to be the masters of our own destiny, to decide for ourselves, we need the status back so that we can. And at the moment, development is not the issue again because uh, when you do not have the dignity, when you do not have the uh, democratic right that you were guaranteed, and which was the reason we acceded to this nation, development is secondary to that. Uh, if development was the Dri the driving force for for the nations, uh, Britishers did the development. They brought railway. They, they brought roads to this nation. They they brought uh, education institu institutions to this nation. But the people of some sub some subcontinent uh, fought against them because they they considered that we were slaves. And same in the in the same manner, we consider ourselves at the moment second class citizens of the nation. So no amount of development can, I mean, uh, satisfy. Uh, the need 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 of the people in Srinagar usually remain away from the voting because of tradition, because of other factors. Do you think this time they'll vote? Different. We expect people to come out in numbers. The enthusiasm that people show and the sentiment that they have, they want to express and register their dissent against the decisions, the decisions taken on August 5. And the enthusiasm, I hope, will turn out into uh, actual voting and the numbers will, will rise from earlier numbers. You can draw the pa parallels with the films which were produced during uh, Hitler's rule in uh, Nazi era. Same happens in, in today's uh, regime. We do not have, see the institutions that should speak for you and me are all compromised. Uh, one of the most important institution is media that is compromised. While we have an onslaught from the ruling regime, we have the flood of uh, propaganda. The only medium that we people, you and me, any citizen of India would have would be media. But unfortunately, that media, that institution is also compromised. So it's for us now to uh, rise from the dust, gather our courage, speak for ourselves, take any opportunity democratically like this to speak for ourselves, present to the world the facts about ourselves and, and the nation. We have the institutions which are compromised, but the most important institution in any country is the institution of <laughs> a citizen. If a citizen gathers uh, the courage it needs to, uh, I can find it, a hope. If, if the nation starts listening to each other, I have hope with the nation because every any uh, fascism does not thrive in a society where people are uh, uh, still who, who hold political morals, who hold principles, and I believe majority of people in India still hold uh, morals and political principles. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Question of dress, in eating habit, uh, the uh, uh, right to pray. And any identity of Muslim is challenged at the moment. The the being of Muslim is challenged at the moment, and it's being it's used as a object uh, in order to gain vote from the right wing Hindu uh, vote bank. 
unfortunately this has taken the country way away from it has taken far away from from the principles on which it was founded we did not accede to a nation which <clears throat> which believed in fundamentalism which be believed in div division we were guaranteed that every religion will have a rightful place will have freedom every citizen will have his or her dignity will have their right and all the citizens will be equal anyone as a hindu anyone as a muslim will be equal in front of law and no one will be intimidated for the last 10 years what happened in Ger germany we see the replica of that in in india unfortunately and this this was not the founding idea of, of the nation and uh, a person none less than a prime minister speaks against the minorities not only muslims but minorities since muslims are the largest minority they face the brunt of it speaks openly and brazenly against the uh, uh, muslims it speaks how institutionally we have degraded how immoral the institutions have uh, turned and people of india need to stand against them the people who believe in secularism those who believe in the uh, fundamental principles on which the Indi the nation of india was built they need to come out they need to fight this fascism if this fascism is not fight at the moment fought at the moment we as a nation will have to pay for this Thank you.